What's up guys, it's uh, Murph here today, and today we're going to be doing uh, something a little different. Uh, if you're an OG and you know me, uh, you'll understand the meaning behind this. So, when I was younger, I did a YouTube video, and I was basically reviewing a shoe, and it was one of the most cringiest things, and we always look at it and we laugh at it. So today, I figured why not go through my collection, and I even got a new pair of sneakers here for today. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I do have an accumulated... 12 sneakers and I only wear about eight of them but uh, today we're gonna start off with something a little more basic we got the regular vans right there we're gonna start off they're the denim vans I picked these up for Christmas pretty pretty freaking sick they uh they look good in jeans uh, you want to make sure you wear them with uh, either the same color jeans I don't know I've yet to discover uh, a good outfit for them but yeah pretty decent uh, I like them a lot. I wear them to look nice. And to make things even more basic, we got our second pair of Vans right here. White girl status. I'm not going to go into these. You know them. Pretty much every white girl at your school knows them. You know the drill. I'm going to get into one of my probably favorite basketball shoes ever. The Curry 2s. Um, I don't have the box for these. Or I can't find it at least. And uh, so yeah. It's pretty awesome. Uh, his thing, I can do all things right there. Uh, really amazing shoe. It was gorgeous too. I love the Mother's Day edition. This was a special edition. Only like 4,000 of these were released. I don't know. This is my first basketball shoe. And I absolutely loved it. Now, this model was kind of a letdown. But this is the, uh, the Curry shoe that released after the Curry 2s. This is the Curry 2.5. I got this in a 9. Uh, I can't fit into them or else I'd wear them all the time. Pretty awesome design. We got a little, I don't know what that is. We're just gonna ignore that. I haven't worn these in over two years. Uh, I can do all things in braille right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty cool. Um, he definitely was creative and I'm not a big fan of his shoes now, but uh, definitely love the first three models of his sneakers. And that's all for the Curry's as of right now. So the white girls have their white bands and the guys have their Air Forces. This is my only pair of Air Forces. I got them to be a little trendy, uh, but they're absolutely amazing. Iridescent logo with the tab there, amazing. Uh, I try wearing this uh, as gentle as possible so I don't crease it, um, but I did have a friend take the creases out one time. Absolutely gorgeous shoe, I love it. Looks good on everything. Wore it to homecoming. Probably wearing it to prom. I don't know. Amazing shoe. Now we're going to get into the brand that I wish I had a little more pairs of. As you know, I haven't gotten these boxes out in forever, so it's a little dusty. Uh, probably one of my second favorite uh, silhouettes for the Jordans. Uh, it is not the originals, but uh, it's as close as I could get it. I was that desperate. This is the Flyknit Jordan 1 Ultra Highs. <laughs> I got fucking what the <laughs> I got what the heck? Okay. Okay, we're just gonna put that back in the box. Um <laughs> I absolutely love the Royal Ones, and this is the closest I could get to it. And uh I I can still wear these shoes, I just haven't worn them in a while, as you can see. So that's the Jordan 1 Royal Ultra Highs. This box is a little beat up, but this is probably my Holy Grails of sneakers. Super, super disappointed I didn't get these in a bigger size because I can't fit into them anymore. My all, my all time favorite Jordan is the Jordan 11. Uh, so I got these Baron 11 Lows. Uh, I've always wanted a pair of Space Jams or Concord 11s, uh, but I couldn't seal the deal mom wouldn't let me spend that much on them even though these were 180 um i don't know but it's all around a great sneaker i played basketball in them i take i took as good care of them as i possibly could and just all around my most favorite sneaker ever and i'm super disappointed i grew out of them we're gonna do a little bit of a throwback uh these are beat up uh i got these back five years ago seventh grade crazy how long ago that was um but i got these in seventh grade they're obviously beat up there the kevin durant sevens i know everybody was going crazy over these shoes 
Uh, just all around awesome silhouette. Uh, I so wish. I'd buy more of this silhouette if uh, they had it in store, but they don't on store. And I don't really want to go through GOAT and um, all the other companies. Just too much of a hassle, and I don't like waiting. So, all around amazing shoe. Okay, so if you know me, you know I am an Adidas Ultra Boost guy. I absolutely love Ultra Boost. Super comfy. I love everything about it. The marketing, everything. So this is my first pair of Boost. Um, I got <laughs> I got them in a women's size. That's how desperate I was back in seventh grade. I can't wear these anymore, but uh, they're the Pure Boost X. Boost, honestly guys, if you guys don't know about Boost, it is one of the most comfortable sole linings on the market um, to the point to where there's people trying to remake everything based off of it. Nike, I've never felt anything as close to the, it, you, you can just tell it's squishy just by looking at it. Absolutely amazing shoe. I definitely would never take up any other shoe. You could give me a million dollars to throw away all my Boost. And I'd probably take it. I was over exaggerating a little bit, but you, Ultra Boost is an amazing brand. I absolutely love it, and this is definitely not the last pair. Now to actually get into our Ultra Boost, as you can see, we have one of the most unique Ultra Boosts on the market. This is not them. Okay, that's the next pair. This is the third pair of Ultra Boosts that I have gotten. Absolutely love them. Got them for my birthday last year, and. Um, just been wearing them. I work out in them, do all that stuff in them. They're a little beat up. Uh, they're almost a year old. So, absolutely love this shoe. Just the boost, everything. Got the protective guard so it doesn't chip at the boost in the back. Continental sole. Super grippy. Absolutely love it. Um, if you don't have a pair of boost and you have the money, they normally retail for 180 but I always find discounts and everything. Um, I actually just bought a pair for $120, which is amazing compared to the 180 price tag at retail. But uh, yeah, we'll get into our next one. Well, this is the unique shoe that I was telling you guys about. Um, if you're not familiar with Adidas, they often partner up with Parlay for the oceans. And basically, they take plastic out of the ocean and they recycle it to make it into a shoe. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. There is a little barcode that you'll be able to scan and it'll tell you exactly where all the plastic that made this shoe came from and how much of it. So typically the average uh, parlay for the Ocean Ultra Boost shoe that they made, they made two silhouettes. I only got this one. Uh, it was the only one I could find. Absolutely love it. Um, got this my freshman year of high school. I'm a junior now. Um, I wore them for work last year. Uh, definitely beat these up more than I really wanted to. Uh, disappointed in that. I want to clean them up so bad, but uh, I don't have the resources for that right now. But absolutely amazing shoe with an amazing story behind. It's got a little parlay right there. Parlay for the oceans. If you don't know that, you can look into it after this video. Um, absolutely love this shoe. And now we're going to be getting into a special type of shoe. Okay, so I guarantee you guys, you have not seen anything like this. Okay. Brand new shoe. New box. I've never seen. I w when I first got these, I was freaking out. How do I open it? How do I open it? Um, it's obviously the new Ultra Boost DNA shoe. I got a size 11 because that's my main size. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely crazy. That's crazy. I've never seen a shoe box open like that. That is absolutely insane. I love that. It's so much detail. I absolutely love it. Um, so I chose the colorway that stuck out to me the most, and I really liked it. Um, absolutely clean shoe. Um, I just bought these and came in the other day. Crisp and clean. Definitely got to take care of these. Super slick. Absolutely love them. Got a little 3M tab right here for the reflectant. Uh, this is actually dark gray in person, but it's reflecting because of the flash. Absolutely love it. Got it off uh, adidas.com. They got their little branding, the three stripes in Japanese right there. It's pretty cool. Um, absolutely love this shoe. 
the silhouette, just the boost is super comfy, and I can't wait to be wearing these bad boys. Absolutely love it. So if you guys don't have a pair of boost, I would definitely recommend looking into it. Uh, there's always cheaper prices than what you see on Adidas. So I would look at different websites, all of that, before buying a pair. You know, just to be smart with your money. Oh, so that is my shoe collection and sneaker review. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are staying safe. And uh, be sure to tune in next time when I hit you with the daily vlog. Uh, it's currently Saturday. It is 11 o'clock at night. I'm about to go to bed. I got some homework to do before then. But uh, I hope you guys are staying safe, like I said earlier. And um, stay tuned, DRU fam. Love you guys.